Hi, my name is Tim Elder. I'm the National Sales Manager for Somerset Professional Grills. I'm standing next to our 36-inch American Muscle Grill. I'm going to talk to you about some of the features of this grill. But first, let's look at the front end of it. It's pretty unusual. This gr grill work here in front gets its look from a 67 Shelby Mustang. We've all seen the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Well, that's where it gets its look. If you remember Eleanor, that's the look. These uh, control knobs, if you will, here, they get their styling cues from a supercharger. If you ever seen one of those big GMC blowers sticking through the roof of a, or the hood of a hot rod, you'll know where the, the uh, control knobs get to. One of my favorite features on the outside of this grill is the drip tray. It's extremely deep. It's very large and heavy stainless steel. Has a drain plug in the corner. Should you get some water inside, you can drain it out. It's really a cool feature. Also, it's this spot where you gather up all the ash that when you're, got, when you're done cooking, you just gather up the, uh, maybe put some foil in here, wad it up, throw it in the trash, and you've got your clean grill down below. When you open up the grill, you're gonna realize it's a big beast. Uh, you're gonna see some of the goodies that come standard. We've got uh, a set of gloves here, a cover, and two, grill tools. Let me show you what those tools are about. First of all, with this grill tool, you can lift out the grates, lift them up so you can load your fuel inside the fuel trays. The other thing you can do that's kind of cool is you can use it to scrape the uh, dirt that builds up or the old food particles. And my favorite thing is you can also use it as a bottle opener which is uh, something you gotta have when you're barbecuing, correct? So when you look inside the grill here, you're gonna see some things that are, that are a little bit unusual for a barbecue nowadays because this grill was designed from the ground up to be both a gas grill and a solid fuel burning barbecue. When you look at the grill, you'll notice that inside some, some things that are pretty cool and pretty unique. First we have these fuel trays. These are 12 gauge stainless steel. And this is where you put your solid fuel when you're gonna burn it on the grill. I'll take out the other one here. The next thing you're gonna notice when you look inside the grill is we've got a, a cover over the burner to prevent it from having any kind of ash fall down inside the burner holes. That would be a very bad thing, so we put a cover over it, and it works very, very well. The other thing it does is it helps divide that flame coming out of the burner. The burner system on this grill is kind of unique because the burner is in between the fuel trays. So you've got a burner here, a fuel tray here, a fuel tray here. This burner lights half of the fuel tray on this side and half on this side and so forth across the grill. The burners are 12, 22,000 BTUs for a total of 120,000 BTUs. Uh, a lot of power inside this grill, obviously American Muscle Grill. Also inside the firebox here are channels to help get remove the ash that accumulates. When you're cooking with a solid fuel, you don't want that ash to blow around inside the, uh, the firebox. So what we've done is we put these channels with large openings and then the ass just falls right through the openings into your drip tray here. Sound good so far? Well, let's talk a little bit about cooking with this grill because that's where all the fun begins. Let me put the fuel trays back in for you. There. So we talk about how this grill works. When you're using this grill as a gas grill, all you have to do is come out and turn on the gas, let it get the firebox get hot like any gas grill, and it works fantastic. It works very, very well. But the fun is, and the great taste and flavor is cooking over wood. So let me talk a little bit about how you would do that. Really very simple. You take your tool, you lift up the grates, and these are cast stainless steel grates. They're really, really heavy duty. They'll last you a long time. 
you put whatever kind of fuel you want into these trays. I, I like to use logs. I buy uh, red oak logs. I have them cut to pizza oven length. They fit perfectly inside here. They give a lot of smoke and they burn a long time. That's why I like them so much. But you can use any type of uh, fuel system you like. If you like uh, lump charcoal or chunk wood, any of that kind of fuel works fantastic. But you load your fuel in here. You don't have to put it very high. Maybe, uh, yeah, high, just about even with the tops here. Then you turn on your gas. You, you turn on the gas for approximately three minutes. You're going to notice when, when it starts to catch fire up on top. And that's usually right around a minute and a half. By three minutes, everything on top is starting to burn now. You'll turn off the gas, and when you do, you'll notice how the flame jumps up. The reason it does that is because when the gas is on and the solid fuel is burning, they're both competing for the oxygen level inside the firebox. So by turning off the gas, you give all that oxygen to the solid fuel, and now it really takes off. By about four to five minutes in, you're ready to throw your food on. What I do is, as soon as I turn off the gas, I lower my grates. Put my grates down so they're gonna get nice and hot. Go in the house, grab my food, and throw it on the grill. It's that simple. A lot of times what I will do is, while I'm cooking over here on the, on the flame, I'll use this as my helper, if you will, and I'll, I'll get some char marks on it, or maybe I want to do a little reverse sear, and I'll stick it over here away from the fire, close the lid, and let, it, let that meat soak in all the smoke that's inside the uh, oven. Once I've done that, then I'll take it off over there and, and put it on the flame. You can do it either way, but I always like to leave some place, and this is the best place for me to take the food off the flame and move it on the side, just let it soak up the smoke, okay? Uh, once you've done that, you're, you're ready to go. I mean, you, you can cook anything you want on this. One of the, my favorite things is to use the rotisserie, and if you notice, there's not a back burner on this grill, so we do something a little different. When I'm going to use the rotisserie, I'll pull both of these grates out. I'll put a shallow pan sitting right on top of the fuel trays. Then I'll line the area where ever the pan is not is where I'm going to put my solid fuel. So once I have the solid fuel in there, I light it, go in and get my food ready, come back out, turn off the gas, and now because these are gone, I can just bring my food out and plug it straight into the rotisserie. Works fantastic. Uh, I've done a, a, a 18 pound turkey twice now, about two and a half hours to do an 18 pound turkey and the food is phenomenal. I think you, you noticed already how easy the warming rack gets out of the way of the rotisserie and it works uh, very well, very convenient. While the hood is open, a couple things I want to show you. Number one is this is 16 gauge stainless steel. It's double walled on both the sides and the top. There's vent tubes on both sides. Let me, uh, well, I don't know if I can slide this for you to see. Uh, yeah. So on both sides we have vents. Helps you direct the smoke. A lot of times I'll close this one on that side and then I will go ahead and open this side, put my food over here on the cold side, I have a roaring flame of a fire over here with lots of smoke. The smoke will billow up inside the firebox and come out on this side as it goes across the food. Works fantastic every time. You'll love cooking on this grill as everyone here at Somerset does. Thank you very much for your time.